Today's a zombie apocalypse. Right. Let's get this. Hey guys, and welcome to an a zombie infested newscast. We are overrun, but we're still going to deliver you this newscast. Get outside. Awesome. So today, Giggles, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about zombie scenarios of what you would do, or what we would do, if a zombie attacked us in our workplace. Right, I'll start. So, Chris, <laughs> no. Giggles, no, I'll start. So, Giggles, yeah. it is a Saturday night and you're at work, and you have went to work t tonight. Even though you know that the world is went to shit. I had a long time ago. Let's be a bit more simplistic. Or when you shit, I mean, let's just face it, man. some people Okay. Are like, well, okay then. Not gone to shit. When the world is can cannibalised. Oh! Itself. That yes, was, that. Yeah, I saw it. And you only have Let's say you have two minutes to get out of your work yep. and get to safety. What are the three things you're going to do first? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the big ass knife we keep in the back for, you know, me. Then I'm heading straight for the fucking fire exit because I mean I ain't, I ain't facing those zombies unless I need to. It's kind of like a fire that way. Right. You see the fire, you deal with it if you have to. It's like me with a zombie. I deal with it if I have to. Then I'm going to put the fire escape straight over to the cafe one. Sounds stupid, but it's a sporting thing. A sporting shop. They have everything I need to fight off something. Knives, bows and arrows. And so what's your fight for and final? Oh, I'm still in a car, I'm getting hell out of here. <sighs> Do you know how to drive? I know how to drive away from a zombie, but not, fit, not enough to pass a test. <laughs> You know what? Yes. It's 12 at night. Oh, I'm just about to clock off. Yep, a yeah. bunch of zombies have just broken into your front door. And you're certain you cannot get out of the front door. It is like, it is a full on invasion for that front door. Your, 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 your workplace is the last place to go. Wait, you do. So are you saying that the front doors have been caved down? Yep. Yeah. Well. And they're not walking, zombies are running. Oh, uh, first thing I would do would go to what would I do? Uh, the first thing I would do would be going to. Hey, about to clock in, so what would you do? I'd be walking back into the back right now, so I'd be in. Uh, confidential area. I'd be heading into the back to clock out and obviously we'd hear a lot of people who are leaving after clocking out be screaming, like, screaming and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all that stuff. The closest thing I would be able to do, but if I was a coward, I would lock myself into the offices in that but then you're, you're stuck. Yes, but I wouldn't do that. I'm just saying that's what a coward would do. Yeah. Uh, I would go into the canteen because there's a lot of utensils in there. He's uh, gonna get a phone, a ah, tong, pair of tongs. <laughs> Maybe pick up a knife or something. Uh, and go out the fire exit, it's in the, the, the canteen, and try and make my way round to the car park without being noticed by the zombies and. And as you as you said, steal a car, uh, and Ireland. Yeah. Mm. I mean, 
mean, I've got people that are being attacked. I'm out. <laughs> I'm already out and they're getting attacked. And even if I'm allowed, I'm fine because I can escape. So I would, uh, I would try and steal a car at the end of it. That's, and I don't know where I would go from there. Maybe try and see if this guy was alive. Right. See if my, my other mate's alive. It's my other mate's alive. So ironic, it's actually what happened. So I brought us here. And we just thought we'd feed you the latest news. Even though the internet's probably gone to shit. Wait, no, YouTube's still up. It's always up. Unfortunately, <laughs> fortunately, YouTube's still up, so. YouTube will last the apocalypse, let's be honest. So, the next one would be we're going to do a quiz. Alright. Uh, and it is a quiz that I have pulled off of the, in the internet. And it's called Can You Survive the Zombie Apocalypse? I'm pretty sure I just did. But yeah, let's go for it. And Wait, you're questioning if the internet's alive and you just pulled up something from the internet. Right, we'll go back for it. Just for you, you the you know, people that could question stuff. We we have a personal server. Yeah, we call him Jarvis. We were able. Oh wait, Steve. Steve's our personal server. We were able to hook up our personal server to our laptops. You can uh, Steve to your laptop. I don't even know how we actually managed to do it. Uh, you did it. I was connected to you. Just, he's just lying on the ground there. What an Ethernet cable up his rear end. <laughs> nice work, Kim. <laughs> Kevin. Bob. Right. Off the time I don't know, isn't he? You hear on the radio that an invasion of zombies is coming. What do you do first? A. Board up your house and stock up in the supplies. Wait for it for them to come and blast them full of lead. Flee to the forest in terror. Or D. Think it's a joke and sit back and watch TV. Oh, board up the house. Go to fortify yourself. Fair enough. And it says that's correct. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I think it's if you get them all right, you love. If you get them one wrong, you die. A zombie breaks into your base and are attacking your friends. What do you do? A. Sacrifice yourself to save your friends. Leave them and escape to save yourself. C. Kill all, all the zombies, then flee. And finally, D. Kill the zombies and then check your group for bites. Well, that's tough. Um, for your answer, the way that we were seen from your uh, your work scenario and what we've we've done here, you sacrifice your your work mates so you can leave. I don't know. I have to fight it for them to leave as well. Can they have cars so they don't have to steal? You know, I'm just I'm just thinking of myself. They can think of themselves. So, what would you choose? Uh, A, B, C, or D? I want to save people and check everyone's alright. But it's your group of friends, so this could be me. Oh, I don't have a group of friends. Oh, that's for sure. Oh, what? See, I want to leave because I know if I'll check you, why is it going to turn and bite me? Fuck. You know, not, not necessarily straight away. Kill, uh, kill the zombies and check group for bites. I might die in D. And that is correct. Yeah. Hero. And Hero. your sister has been bitten. What do you do? A. Say you're sorry and kill her without hesitation. Oh, A. B. Leave her behind. A. Or C. Stay with her, knowing there has there is no has no. Blah, 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 blah. No aspect. Stay staying with her, knowing there has to be a cure. Oh, yeah. I I would want someone to do that to me too. If I ever get shot, if I ever get bitten, somebody just shoot me in the head. This is correct. I don't want to. I don't want to. How today. big would your group be? 2 to 4, easy to move around. B, 4 to 6, more people, more protection. Or C, I travel alone, I am a lone wolf. 2 to 4, we Or D, anything that would work out well for me. A, I have to move around quietly. Incorrect. What? It says, the right answer is D, anything that would work. Then that technically works for me. <laughs> that makes no sense. You have been bitten. And you're turning to a zombie. What would you do? Kill yourself. Don't tell anyone. B. Kill yourself. Or C. Tell everyone goodbye and then run away. Kill myself. And it says. Correct! Yeah. There we go. And 
and it says true or false, there is a cure to, uh, to the zombie effect infection. False, false. The zombies the virus just killed you. We've seen it happen. It says true. You walk into a gun store, but you can only carry three weapons. What would you choose? And it's not. This is not graded. I don't know what the fuck I mean. I don't think anything wrong, right? Take sniper rifle. Nothing. I'm set. B. Sniper rifle. C. Assault rifle. D. AK-47. And or E. Magnum or F. Anything that would kill. But I need to clarify. If this was put into the kind of where we live, Scottish demographic. We don't have gun stores, do we? You do, but they're like very rarely licenses to buy stuff from. Aye. So I don't. We don't necessarily know where the gun stores are, but I'm sure we could find out. Because I mean, I pick a sniper rifle, a magnum, and anything that would kill. I think we can pick one. Aye, my casual weapons. Oh, and it says. Incorrect. All of them. <laughs> well, how does that work? It's not graded, basically. This is incorrect. Alright, I'm right. Right, you take sniper rifle, I shoot from a distance. Do you live in a heavily populated area? I wouldn't say so. I would. I'm not populated. Alright, your kind of area is close quarters with this. Alright, yeah. And it says incorrect. Alright, how could it be incorrect? The more populated area it is, the more zombies there will be when the zombie uh, the virus hits. I know, but it's been quite dying. The apocalypse is coming to an end, but your whole group has died. Now you're surrounded. What would you do? A. You would fight to the death. B. Try my hardest to escape, knowing this ordeal is coming to an end. Or C, give up and let them eat me. Oh, so that I escape. If I'm surrounded, I might have to try to escape somewhere. This is correct. And how long would you survive with skills you know right now? A, one to five days. B, two to three weeks. C, a few months. D, I would I would have killed myself when this all started. Or E, pretty long. Or I'll survive the whole thing. Oh, I'll survive the whole thing. This is correct! They know me well. They know me well. I love you, man. Have you ever talked about this kind of situation with a friend? All the time. A, all the time. B, we joke about it. Or C, never. All the time. Do you want a small exact moment? It says correct. Yeah, it's act. You have survived the apocalypse, but by doing this, you have become unstable. Walking around outside when you notice someone pale, feverish, and you know it's coming again. What would you do? A. Kill the man right there and then. B. Scream at them to go on a vacation. Do something and wait for the zombies. Or do nothing and wait for the zombies. Or D. Kill myself.
pack one, two or three. Sorry. You have read that you have wrapped the the, the food tray from the seat in front of you. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? I stay hidden. I stay hidden until they forget about it. Mm -hmm. Do they forget about it? Do they come looking? One, two or three. One. Okay, next up I sneak up behind the two zombies at the back. Mm -hmm. I clobber one and the heave of the jaw. Pack a number. One. Two.
but doing so by opening the door and walking out, you have fallen. going to change the numbers about because I'm the one that wrote it down so he's going to change the numbers about so he no, thinks that I'm not cheating. Right, okay? Okay, we're good. Right, where am I? What's the scenario? How am I going to kill today? Right, you're in your house. Mm -hmm. You have three things, pick three numbers. The funny thing is, on this list, none of these things are in my house. I'm pretty sure you can find a battery. Uh, like, give me five. What's five? Uh, a revolver. Walking that. Nice. Uh, was it two numbers? Yeah, two left. Two, two numbers like. Two numbers for that. Yeah. And one, one, one for the other one. Alright. Oh. And give me number one. Spin. Oh, ro rusty spin. So you have a revolver and a rusty spin. The revolver has two bullets in it. Right, okay. Uh, and one, give me a useless. Pick one, one to three number. Number yeah. three. One. Uh, a penis. I mean, you're all pe You didn't write that right. <laughs> what? It's pencil. Pencil? Oh, yes, I can write stuff. And in your house, you've came from the front and back door and starting to break down the doors. What do you do? Let's try it. Start with well, this one now. Uh, bring the front and back door down. You've got the rest of the house with you just now. Uh, and have I got all my stuff on hand with me right now? Yes. Right, I would. Oh! I go into the hall, right? Remember, right. you're overall 18 zombies. Oh, what side's side. get the most? That side is 10, that side is 8, because that's the front door. So they come to your front door first with 10, and the rest is get 8. I go into my I I go in my, into my room, mm -hmm. uh, grab my office chair. And chuck it. Oh, well, I would put the blades up and chuck it out the window. Okay, and uh, choose a number between 1 and 6. 4. You make a noise, but they haven't noticed you. Yes. You're too busy at the front door and back door. Then I climb out the window. Uh -huh. uh, and. Oops. Pick a number between 1 and 6. Just see if you fall or anything. 3. You go out the window but you fall 
on your way out and you've injured your leg, how bad? You've only cut in glass, you're fine but you're bleeding out. Well you're not bleeding out, you're just bleeding slightly. Right, okay. Uh, I would run across the back door to that house where there is a car. Pick it up between one six. Six. They see you running and they're coming after you. And uh, all zombies from the other side of the street have noticed you, or that side have noticed you, are coming after you as well. They're only, they're only walking slightly fast right now, they're not running yet. I'd run, I'd, 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 as I've already, I've already vaulted over the fence. Mm -hmm. You're over the fence and you're going over to the car. Right, I've, I will smash the window of the car. No, I'll check the car if it's open first. I get your number. <laughs> uh, one, the bit, not five. Stumble. Trying to get the top car open, and they are—they notice you're not a zombie now, and they're actually coming a bit faster now. So, I've tried the door; it's not as locked. Yep, it's locked. I smashed the passengers one, the passenger side window. She has number two one six. Uh, two. You get noisier, and they're starting to run towards you. But I've noise. smashed the window. You've smashed the window, but it noise you. Uh, I'll. Reach my hand in, open the door, mm -hmm. climb in, and. Catch us number two, one, six. Five. You stumble climbing over from the gear stick, <sighs> and you've injured your leg a bit more than once. Oh, time. fuck's sake! <laughs> uh, and. Okay, you'll have to do a luck one for this as well, so you just need to randomly. Pictus. Uh, I look in the glove department for the keys. Uh, not there. I look in the the sun visor at the top. You find them but you make a noise when you drop. I also got the dashboard. Fuck it. <laughs> I grab the keys, start the ignition and put it in reverse. They're gonna hear me because... Okay. And then you escape, it's alright. Hold on. Well, we're just double shaking actually. Let's just go for one last test. We'll pay for another test if you didn't meet your end. But the thing is so... Is that something to say? Let's put it The thing is so... When I smashed uh, the, uh, the, the window of the passenger side of the window, I would have noticed if there was a zombie in the back because the zombie would be active. Well, let's just put a number in. Let's go hard. Could you edit it to me? So let's go for it. Okay. Four. Four, 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 four. You make a noise. But there's no zombies in. You're okay. You survive. Well done. And one last segment. Right. Uh, so first one, bow and arrow. Second one. Kevin from the New Bros, 
I'm and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Who's for some robbers? And he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him. Yeah. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah, she's fine. Wondering where she be mine. Walk past.